Hi everyone, my name is Ace Says Hi, and we are doing something a little bit different today. Uh, I want to start doing baking videos and that stuff again, but I'm gone on vacation, so instead I'm re-uploading old videos from an old baking channel I used to have some amount of years ago. Now then, these are probably some of the cringiest videos that I have ever made, but you know, we're going to roll with it, so I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Younger me, take it away. Hello all of you beautiful people and welcome to the very first episode of Aaron in the Kitchen where, as you can see, this week we'll be learning how to make some of the best heckin' ever banana nut bread on this earth. The recipe for which is both in the description below and at the end of the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is grab an 8 quart mixing bowl and then we're going to start off this wonderful journey with 6 ripened bananas that have been mashed up. Next you're going to realize that the framing is a bit off and that the tripod is loose and you're going to use your spare hand to try and steady it and fix it but end up making things a hell of a lot worse for the rest of the shot. And then add 4 eggs. So after you add the 4 eggs, let's go ahead and add 3 cups of granulated sugar. After that. We're going to add three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now, it wouldn't be banana nut bread without the nut. So let's add two cups of chopped walnuts. And then after this, we're going to start adding our liquid, which consists of one cup of vegetable oil and then a half cup plus two tablespoons buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you could substitute it with a half cup of milk and two tablespoons lemon juice and whisking it together. Finally. We're going to add the last three remaining ingredients, which consists of two teaspoons baking soda, two teaspoons vanilla, and one teaspoon salt. And while this is all happening, you're going to slowly lose control of the shot, and uh, noticing how terrible the framing is, you're going to try and panic and try and make it better, but it, it, things just get worse, and yeah, oh god, yeah, no, this is not good, oh, oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, right. Yeah, nope, okay. There we are. Nothing happened. Nothing bad. Okay, now it's time to get to the action and start mixing. When mixing, obviously the first thing you want to do is start on low speed and then moving up to medium speed to be careful that you don't spill any of the ingredients because as you can see, it's packed to the brim, basically. So you don't want any ingredients to go flying off. And then you're going to stop it to scrape down the sides and make sure you get all the way nice down deep in there. And then you're going to start it again and there we are, look at that, it's all mixed perfectly, look at that, mmm. Now that your dough is all mixed, it's time to start pouring your mixer into grease aluminum loaf pans, or if you were smart, you would use a ladle or a measuring cup or a spoon or like anything else instead of making a mess. But this is how I started it because I was too lazy and I didn't want to do more dishes, so this is how we're going to do it, okay? Okay. And once you finish, go ahead and quickly clean up the mess you made and pretend that nothing happened. See? Perfect. What mess? The mess never existed. You're crazy. And now that these bad boys are all bright eyed and bushy tailed, it's time for them to go into a uh, 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for about an hour and 10 minutes or until they're golden brown and the middle starts to split open a little bit. And oh my goodness, there we are, don't they look delicious? Let's go ahead and take them out and put them onto wire racks to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before we take them out of the pans. Okay, there we are. So they should come out easily with a couple of taps on the bottom and voila, there we are. Now, after all the effort you put into this, it's finally time to dig in. No more waiting around, just cut right into it, and oh yeah, doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> so good. Hey all you wonderful and beautiful people out there, thank you so much for watching my first ever video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you have any feedback, get it, feed, because the food. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any feedback or suggestions and ideas for the type of content you guys would like to see in the future, be sure to comment below. Bye!